We had been told of the little church that was being built on Edgelia Drive. We decided to give that little church a try. The services were being held in the Durgan School and everyone was so friendly and welcomed us with open arms. Gordon and I married and moved into the Edgelia Edition. We started looking for a church. Most of the people in the addition were going to the, a new church that just started. They encouraged us to go. In the summer, they met at the fairgrounds, and in the winter, at Durgan School. Then we built a church on Edgelia Drive. Reverend Ellen Wood asked me to help with the children's Sunday school. Bill Bender and I taught Sunday school in the basement of the parsonage. So I got to see all the children grow up over the many years. We moved into our first home on Beach Lane in Edgelia Edition. It was a brand new housing complex. There were not churches in the area, and at that time, we didn't have a car, so we didn't go to church. About a year later, George and Jean Sullivan told us about a church starting up in the area. Our friends, Charlie and Kay Long, told us about the group of young people our age starting a new church, so we checked it out. We met at the fairgrounds at that time. After our new little church was built, we joined Christ United Methodist Church. I will never forget that first Sunday. The room at Durgan was filled with young families with lots of children. I remember the piano, the music, and the great young minister, Chuck Ellenwood. I remember the excitement in the early church as we planned to build a new structure on Edgelia Drive. My memories of the late 50s and early 60s are filled with fond memories of Marilyn playing the organ and my young children being so excited about our church activities. I can remember the great people in the Sunday school. People like Lou Bender, Kitty Bowsom, and Rosemary McCool were favorites of my kids. We have always been blessed at Christ Church by great Sunday school workers.